hosting a random Pokemon tournament. And the winner of said tournament gets a legendary crate key. Now, what this random tournament means is that everyone involved in the tournament gets a completely random team with completely random movesets and we duke it out. And whoever comes in first place gets a legendary crate key. Now on the server, we actually do these random tournaments all the time. There's probably literally like four or five every single day but the rewards are not really ever uh legendary crate keys i'm just doing a legendary crate key for this one tournament because i just want it to be epic really but it's been a while since i've made a video on the server so i think that i'll show you guys around a little bit i don't even know if i've showed you guys my house yet but here is my nice little humble abode really nothing too spectacular i'm really not the best builder ever so this is this is what you get out of me pretty standard stuff but anyway i also made a mailbox so if you guys ever want to stop by my house and drop some stuff into the mailbox it will go into my chest that only I can access. And here, it looks like we already have some stuff. Somebody gave me a Master Ball. Let's go, dude. That's actually sick. And I actually have some real mail as well. I mean, that, I guess, is what a mailbox is for. So anyway, let's open up this mail and see what we got going on. Oh, someone said, will you be my friend? By, from Ho Honk. Ho Honk, yes. I will be your friend. Actually, no. I will not be your friend. I will only be your friend if you give me a stack of rare candies. I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's fair. Fair. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking of rare candies, by the way, uh, we have our Pokemon at a pretty high level. We have level 75 Siren Ace, by the way. I nicknamed him the Siren Ace. I don't know. I thought it was clever. Cinderace, Siren Ace, Cinderace, Siren Ace. I don't know. Maybe a little bit cringe, but also freaking awesome. And then our Groudon, I nicknamed him the Glizzy Lord. I don't really got much to say about that. I just thought it was funny. So he is now the Glizzy Lord. And then we got King Boo, who is not perfect uh, IVs and stuff, but he's, he's pretty good. So I'm just going to use him uh, in my team. So uh, we still have have three open slots with uh you know pokemon that we gotta fill in but hopefully we can get something pretty good if we win this tournament and get the legendary crate key anyway another mail is from ducky saying to tp to these coordinates i probably should not show that on camera because now people are going to go there and steal whatever is there Anyway, for the last mail, we have the boy Joe 2020 saying that he put a master ball in my mailbox. And to keep up the great content, thank you, the boy Joe. I guess that this mailbox is from him. So sweet. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I can use that pretty soon. And lastly, before we start this epic random tournament, I noticed that there is a bunch of signs outside of my house. So let's go ahead and give that a read. Hello, Siren. I'm happy to be on your server. Oh, thank you, dude. I'm happy that you're here. I'm asking you to trade me a legendary. Please give me a legendary. Please. I need a legendary. I can catch a legendary. Please, everyone in the server has a legendary. Please! They keep bullying me because I don't have a legendary. I need a legendary Pokemon from Not Real for sure. Guys, I didn't write this. Like, this is legitimately someone thought that it'd be a great idea to come up to my house and just put 10 signs telling me to give him a legendary. You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. But honestly, I do feel a little bit bad. Guys, stop bullying him because he doesn't have a legendary. Uh, how about this? We'll do in the comments. You guys put one in, 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 in the comments if I should give him a legendary. Put a two in comments if I should not give him a legendary. If there's enough ones, I'll give this guy, you know, a pretty cool legendary. All right, boys, I actually did just start the random tournament and here's our team. We have a flat Apple with these moves. We have a freaking score bunny with these moves. We have a Rattata. Oh my gosh. My team is so bad. A Chandelure, a Swana with doggy moves too, and a Lilio. Guys, this is GG's. This is GG's. And here we go. Round number one. It just kind of starts. It just kind of starts. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna see what I can do. My team is so bad. Like, unbelievably bad. I, I, I feel like I don't stand a chance. Like, I don't stand a chance. Luckily, though, other people's teams can also be very bad. So we might actually have a chance here. Um, so he has a Teddy Ursa. And also, everyone's team gets set to level 100. However, that does not mean that everybody evolves. And that also does not mean that everyone gets a good moveset. So as you can see, my score bunny has a terrible moveset. So this is pretty bad. This is not good for me in the slightest, I would say. Probably like the worst, even. It doesn't get too much worse. Um, but maybe I can just spam Leech Seeds and Protects to, um, yeah, just to, to get a little victory here. Let's see. He's going to use any of that. Yeah, so we're going to, yeah, let's just go here. I don't know. Hopefully the Leech Seed just keeps on ticking. Keep on ticking, Leech Seed. You're doing great. Um, Firefang, go. <sighs> oh, yo, that Leech Seed low key is actually, it's it's not, it's not doing too, the Leech Seed actually hurt a lot. That's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's go to attack. Does he know Quick Attack? Can Quick Attack kill? I don't think so. If it was Eradicate, maybe. 
And no, he, he, he switches out anyway. Sweet. Nice, dude. Okay. Oh, no! He was licking to paralyze my <gasps> Swana. That's actually not good at all, because I need my Swana. Because, I mean, realistically, Swana's like my best Pokemon. That is how bad my random team is. Like, that is how bad it is. So... It's not good. I mean, keep in mind, it's completely random. So people could have, like, I think they could have legendary Pokemon on their team. Um, they could have, you know, pseudo legendaries on their team. I have Swana as my best Pokemon. So, yeah, this is not good. Please. Ah! No, I was paralyzed twice in a row. You're trolling. Okay. Um, Flapple. Go get him. We're going to do a little bit of that. All right. And down goes the Nidoran. Flapple, has, so far, has been the MVP. Undisputedly the MVP. The strat is we leech seed, we protect. We leech seed, we protect. Well, we just leech seed once. And then we. So here we protect. Actually, acrobatics should be super effective. And yeah. See you later, ugly fly. Get it? Because it's a beauty fly, but it's not because I just destroyed it. Okay. Luckily, my Flapple, like, shreds this team. It doesn't mean that my team is good. It just means that I'm really good against it. So, I think that we might actually win this one. Yeah, we're actually, we're gonna win the first round with one Pokemon. With a Flapple, guys. With a Flapple. Yeah, this is kind of craziness. What the rest of my team is doo doo? I have a Rattata, a Score Buddy, a Litleo, a Swana. So, although we're gonna make it through this first round, there's no doubt in my mind that we're not gonna make it too much farther. In this round, guys, I am battling someone that is called Real Uzumaki. I've just started watching Naruto, guys, and I'm in love with Naruto, and Uzumaki is Naruto's last name. So he's claiming to be the real Naruto Uzumaki. So um, this could be bad for me because Naruto is very good. He's very good. It goes for a blizzard, interesting. Dude, I'm telling you, this Flapple Leech Seed Protect strat has, is, is doing, it's doing good for me. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's switch out here. He has Recover? Are you trolling? Okay. That's not good. Let's Tail Whip him. Lower his defense. I mean, realistically, what is Rattata going to do against an Avalog? Not much. I have to just make sure that this Avalog does not kill my Flapple. That is, like, my main goal here. We're going to Tail Whip again. Yes, we avoid the attack. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Stupid Cross Chop. You ain't got nothing on me, boy! He's going to cross chop again, so maybe here we go to Chandelure. Because it doesn't affect Chandelure. Boo! Nice! And we will a wisp him. Genius! I'm so smart! Guys, I didn't even use my Chandelure in the last fight. But maybe I should. With it, he used Pursuit. It's super effective and it didn't do anything. <laughs> Joke is on you. Um, hopefully he just switches out here because I can't really hurt him. He didn't switch out. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I really don't want my Chandelure to die because that Will-O-Wisp is going to come in handy. So, what we are going to do is switch into Swana and hit him with an Acrobatics. And then it's... Oh, he goes into his Avalog now. Interesting. Okay. All right. We're going into Rattata. He's going to almost one-shot me. That is okay. We're going to Tail Whip. Lower his defense. He kills me. That is okay. I'm okay with that. Now, now we go Chandelure and we Will-O-Wisp. We Wisp of the Willow. Because he thinks that I actually have a fire move, but I don't. So he might actually switch out. Hopefully he doesn't go back into Mankey. That's like the only thing I don't want him to do is to go into Mankey. Please don't go into Mankey. Or Primate, whatever it was. Come on. No! He went into Seismitoad. But at least we burned him. Like, these burns are going to come in massive handy when the time comes. So this is actually good. Swana should be able to tank pretty much anything Seismitoad does. Yep, Bubble Beam, Easy Peasy, Lemon, Squeezy. Uh, and now we air slash. He might go back into Avalug here. That's what I'm expecting. And he doesn't. He goes into Cacnea, who we destroy. And now he goes into Beldum, who we... What do we do? Here's what we do. Score Bunny. First Evo against first Evo. Let's go. We Ember this. He's really switching out for my Score Bunny? Seriously? Swanna, go. Wow, that was a crit. You should be embarrassed by that. That was a crit, but we roost here. Guys, my team is bad, but I feel like I'm just a mega genius here, and I'm outplaying this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm really not that good. I don't know. Would, I, would anyone play this way? Who knows? Oh, and he flinches. Beautiful stuff. Um, I'm just going to roost here. And he, he has a Flapple of his own. No! Flapple is so good. I'm pretty sure Air Slash is super effective, though, so he protects. Okay. We Air Slash, though. Boom! Yeah! And he flinched. We got two flinches in a row. Guys, wait, this is actually so good. Boom! He doesn't know the power of Flapple. He doesn't understand how to use Flapple. He doesn't get it. Okay, I get it, though. I understand how to use Flapple. He just doesn't get it. Okay, he's going to go for a Blizzard, most likely. So we're going to go into Score Bunny here and just let Score Bunny die. It's okay. He crunches. 
We didn't even die. Nice. Ember, burn. Burn. Nope. Okay. Litleo with a fire fang. <laughs> That's all it did! What does Noble Roar do? I'm gonna keep fire fang. Hopefully we just burn it. We, he flinches. Burn? Does fire fang even have a chance at burning? I don't even know. Um... Whatever, we're just gonna die. We're just gonna let him die here, I guess. Okay, here we go, Shedler for sure, and we hit him with the Will-O-Wisp. But I'm assuming he's gonna switch out, but that's okay. I think he has three Pokemon left, two are burned, and one is this Avalug that has Recover. I don't know why Avalug knows Recover, it's very frustrating. If we can burn the Avalug, we're in pretty good shape. That is like the only way that we win this, is if we can burn the Avalug. But he switches out into Beldum, of course. Why would he not do that? Shadow Ball might just kill it. And it does. Okay. Beautiful. Now he goes into Seismitoad, who is burned. Uh, here we just counter with Swana. Yeah. Easy. Here we go. Okay. And we Air Slash. Goes into Avalug. Of course. Air Whoa! Air Slash did a lot more than I thought. And down goes the Avalug, which is pretty much GG for me. Because Air Slash is going to destroy the Mankey. And then Air Slash destroys the... Well, it doesn't destroy him, but he's dead. Let's go! No way! We are going to the final round. I, th I think that this is the last round. Me against Sin's World. Sin's World, it's like Juice World, but Sin's World. It's kind of a scary name, low key. Um, but guys, is this the dream team? Is Flapple and Swana and Chandelure, is that the dream team? I don't know. But so far, it's worked out. I feel like I've played this absolutely flawlessly so far. And it has a Mian Chow. It's not particularly what I enjoy seeing. I think we just acrobatics and it U-turns. Wow, that did a lot. Goes into Gibble. This guy is a good player. Why did acrobatics do n nothing? It, it did nothing. We lead sheet here. <laughs> All right, that's, I believe that is GG's. I'm going to be honest here, guys. I think that is GG's. Yeah, that's not good. Oh my gosh, no way he just crit with that. I think Air Cutter has a high crit chance, but still, like, come on. All right, let's go for one more roost. And now we Air Slash to hopefully finish him here. Come on. Down goes the Golbat. This is still a bad start. I mean, that Mian Chow, the Swana should be able to counter Mian Chow pretty good. That's two down. That's his Gibble down. That's his Golbat down. But th those are two, like, throwaway Pokemon anyway. Like, he killed Flapple, which is, like, my best Pokemon. So even though I'm technically ahead on Pokemon, I... What happened? It errored. The match errored, apparently. He said that there's a waiting glitch. I don't know if that is true. But here we go. We are back in action here. And last time he U-turned, so let's expect another U-turn here. And let's just go to our Rattata. Get this out of the way. Rattata. Nice. Okay. Oh, no, man. I have, like, a whole fire team, and he has a whole, like, water team, man. Oh, uh, I don't know what Noble Roar does. What does it even do? His attack was decreased, and his special attack was decreased. We're going to send that again. And now, I want to go into Chandelure, even though I know Crawdon's super effective. Uh, now, let's just go Swana. We go Swana, and we Acrobatics. I don't think it's going to do too much, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, and here we go. Round at number three. I'm pretty sure that the whole, like, pretty much the whole second battle was cut out for you guys, um, but I learned a lot. It was actually a good fight. Um, I learned that his Octillery has Aura Beam on it, and that kind of shredded me. So, yeah, I that's good to know. It's good to know, because I just know not to use my Flapple against it now. So, this is our third battle. The battle's errored twice, um, so hopefully this time around we'll be okay. Last time, I just used my Swana against the Golbat, and we just exchanged blows, and I was just recovering. I, I think that I do this again. I think I just do this again. And now, I roost. Hopefully, he doesn't... Okay, boom. Perfect. Wait, what? He avoided the attack. Are you trolling? And he crits me. Dude, no way he just crit at me. Okay, we roost here. We roost. Is he gonna... Every time he goes to Shelmet, he uses Yawn. Yeah, there you go. He yawns. That's totally fine. He just gave me a free roost. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now we go Litleo. And he's like struggle bugs or something. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do much. And he's gonna yawn again. I've been here, done that. Or he switches out into Octillery or something. I don't know why he wouldn't do that, but there we go. He yawns again, so I'm gonna switch out. I really just can't have any of my Pokemon sleeping, so this is okay. Okay, he's going to definitely bubble beam here. I think I go Flapple. You know what? I'm just going to sack my score bunny. I'm going to Ember. Hopefully we burn. We do not burn. I think it's a 30% burn chance. That is okay. We're going to go to Flapple now. And we Leech Seed and then Protect, just like we did in the first fight. I believe that my Flapple is like the only thing that can do anything against this Crawdon on my team. So I have to keep this Flapple alive. And even so, it's not even the best nope. matchup. Like, look, the Crawdon just did so much damage. It's really not even that great for me. I'm kind of feeling like he's going to switch out here. I don't think he's going to want to fight this. But let's see. Acrobatics. And he does stay in. And he Razor Shells. I don't even know what that does. But we're going to Protect here. Okay, we're gonna let the leech tick. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And we acrobatics. And he stays in and we take down the Crawdaunt, which is actually very good for us. Because that Crawdaunt um, would shred 
pretty much the rest of my team. Maybe not so much the Swana, but yeah, you get the point. Anyway, we know that he is going to... Anyway, we know that he is going to U-turn here, so we go to Swana, which does more than I thought it would. But, I mean, to be fair, Mian Xiao does hit really hard. And Gibble... I feel like Gibble has something that is going to hurt me. I don't know why. So we just roost here. <laughs> he paralyzes me. Wow! Of course he paras me. Of course he paras me. Oh, that actually could backfire pretty significantly. Let's roost. Eee, that orb beam! Uh, okay, air slash, please do not be parried. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Um, okay. I mean, I think that we just send air slashes here and hope he crit. No, we're parrot again. We're one HP. Oh my gosh, Roost. No, we're parrot again, man. Oh no, this is so bad for me. Okay, here we just noble roar. We noble roar. We lower his attack and special attack, which allows us to get a clean switch into. <sighs> Who do we even want to... Okay, we go Flapple here. We go Flapple, and we Acrobatics this. I hope that he switches into Mian Xiao. That is my <coughs> hope. He doesn't, and we, he lets us kill him. Okay, now he's going to U-turn. We know that he U-turns here, so we go Chandelure. U-turn. Does nothing. Perfect. Now he goes to Shelmet, in which we just Shadow Ball this thing. I believe is the play. Yes. Shadow Ball, and down you go. Beautiful. And now he just has this left. We will wisp this for sure, okay? He Hone Claws. That's very scary, actually. I don't like that one little bit. His Shadow Ball is not going to affect it. I don't know if he go Flapple. I don't remember if he has any Pokemon left. Let's go Flapple. We Leech Seed. Nah! That hurt. Wow. Okay. Let's protect. Let that tick. Okay, now we go back into Chandelure. Hopefully, he Drain Punches again. Doesn't affect it. Beautiful stuff. And now we just smog, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Oh, wait. This is his last Pokemon. He U-turned and it, he didn't switch. So this is his last Pokemon. I think I win. Oh my gosh. Wait, do I win? Come on. Yes. I won. And bang. There we go. I just got a legendary crate key, guys. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie. When that tournament started and I only, and I had like a Flapple and a Swana, low-key Chandelure is a lot better than I thought. But... I, I, you know, I had three Pokemon that stunk. I thought for sure um, that <laughs> I was not going to win a single battle. We ended up winning three all in a row, back to back to back. And let's go. That means that we actually got a legendary crate key from that. So let's go ahead and open that bad boy and see what the heck we can get. We actually got a rare crate key as well. So let's open this real quick. It'll be like the, the opener, the opener to the legendary crate key. I'm pretty sure that rare crate keys are what you typically get from those non-legendary shiny of choice. Guys, are you kidding me? In these tournaments, you can get some insane things like this. Like, a, like I'm, dude, these tournaments go on like five times a day. You just have to look for them in chat and then do like slash tournament join if you win look at this i can't i can claim any pokemon in the game that is not a legendary and it's shiny Re reward claim what do i a metagross i'm thinking metagross boys yeah let's just go metagross what no like i just got a metagross let's check his ivs and see what 74 74 percent that's actually pretty good 29 in attack 30 in speed wait he actually has pretty good ivs not bad at all but check this out dude Guys, comment down below nicknames for this guy. He looks freaking sick. But anyway, for the moment of truth, let's go ahead and open ourselves a legendary crate. I mean, it's pretty likely, guys, that I get a legendary from this. So that's going to be pretty insane. Hopefully, I do get something. Let's see. Here we go. Drum roll, please. What is it going to be? And... Oh! We got a legendary nature change and a random shiny legend. Let's go. So the random... Or the, the nature change is going to allow us to pretty much, well, change any legendary Pokemon's nature that we want. So that's going to be really good for competitive. And then we also got a random shiny legendary Pokemon. Hopefully it's something good. Um, but let, let's see. Let's see what the heck it is. Let's redeem it in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, wait. Nah. No way. Oh. <gasps> It's beautiful. Oh, oh, baby. Look at this. We got a shiny Xerneas. Frick yeah. Dude. Oh, wait, nah. Our team is actually in. We have the best team. We have the. We have. Because we got a Metagross in this episode, too. Oh, my God. Wait, look at my team. Nah. Look at. Look. I just see one more Pokemon that's like sick, and then I can go to. Wait. Like that. Oh, my. I actually. I'm sorry. I'm the ba bad commentary. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't. My heart's going. Boys, not only 
is a Xerneas insane, but also it's like perfect for my team. It is fairy type. Uh, and we don't have a fairy type Pokemon. And that Metagross is pretty much perfect as well. It's steel and psychic. Like, dude, my team is so insane. Oh my gosh. I'm so lit. Wait, let's check the IVs. IVs, IVs, IVs three. 72%. You know, not bad. Not bad either. Let's go. Okay, his nature stinks, but we do have a legendary nature change. So we can change that to something better as well. And then after we get the last Pokemon in our team, guys, we can start going to Warzone and hopefully start shredding Warzone. Anyway, guys, this has definitely been the best episode of the entire series. If you did enjoy, leave a like rating, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you, dudes.